Welcome to a quick introduction to click data integration and how we deliver real-time data into Microsoft's intelligent data platform. My name is Dan Potter. I'm the Vice President of Product Marketing at Click, and I'd like to give you a brief overview and talk about the value that Click can bring to the Microsoft Azure environment. First, I'll tell you a little bit about Click. You might know Click as an analytics leader. We've been in and around the analytics space for well over 10 years. In fact, for the last 11 years, uh, we've been recognized by the Gartner Group in the Magic Quadrant as a leader. Uh, we're also a data integration provider. In fact, we've been the fastest growing provider uh, over the last few years, according to Gartner. So we have a unique position in helping organizations turn data into value in the cloud. We've got over 38,000 customers in 100 countries around the globe. Uh, as an integration and analytics vendor, it's really important that we maintain strategic alliances with cloud data leaders like Microsoft uh, and making sure that we're open and agnostic to delivering the data from its source to wherever it's needed in its target. Uh, we also work with a global ecosystem of over 1,700 partners around the globe uh, to help our customers get the expertise that they need in unlocking data and turning it into value. With respect to Microsoft, you know, Click has a unique role, again, in delivering that enterprise data into the intelligent data platform. We're very much a complement to what Microsoft has with Azure Data Factory. Uh, we provide that real-time data ingestion uh, into the intelligent data platform. Uh, we are trusted by some of Microsoft's largest customers, like Mercedes-Benz uh, and UBS and Olympus. And we're also trusted by Databricks and Microsoft. In fact, we've been honored uh, to be the Data Integration Analytics Partner of the Year. Uh, we've been uh, recognized by both Databricks and Microsoft as playing a unique role in helping organizations unlock data and to deliver value. Let's go into a little bit more detail. So let's talk about some of the challenges that may be holding you back with respect to your data. Well, the first challenge is data access. How do you unlock uh, data that may be siloed in some of the key transactional systems that you might have? Things like mainframes and legacy ERP or SAP systems tend to be the source of some of the most important transactional data that your company has. Uh, it's just really challenging to unlock that siloed data. Uh, and the way in which you unlock that data is really important because they are carrying production transactional workloads. So you wanna do it in uh, a way that's non-invasive, uh, but will deliver that data in low latency. Uh, so you unlock the data and then you need to make that data ready, make it analytics ready so that business users can work directly with that data. And how you make it analytics ready is also important uh, because there's a skills scarcity. You don't have uh, teams of, of people probably in your IT organization who have the skills uh, and certainly have the bandwidth to meet all the diverse uh, and growing requirements that the business users demand. Uh, so you need to find a way to overcome this scarcity through automation uh, and overcome the challenges and costs uh, of moving the data and processing this data across a wide variety of different environments. Third area is around data confidence. So you may have unlocked the data and made it analytics ready. Now you need to make it in a way that the business users can understand that data, uh, making sure that that data is reliable and consistent and they trust that data, making sure that you've got enterprise-wide governance and security uh, and implementing that in a way that's a benefit to the business users. And they don't see it as an impediment, but they see it as a way to make sure uh, that the organization is protecting the important customer data uh, and industry data uh, and making sure that they have access and confidence that the data that they're using is correct. And finally is the consumption of that data. How we can make it easy for the business users to search and find the data, to understand it, uh, to take that data, they may do some additional uh, enrichment to that data or preparation for that data. They may need to publish it and consume it in a wide variety of different analytics tools. Uh, and they certainly need to be able to take the insights that they have and uh, deliver those to a large number of users. Uh, and finally, you know, the challenge of, of consumption is not only a wide variety of tools, but it's also a wide variety of platforms. 
that data may need to be shared uh, across uh, different technologies, uh, even across different clouds. So to do this right, you need to have a modern approach to building out these pipelines. And we see that there's four key characteristics that are important. One, it needs to happen in real time. You need to be able to unlock that data, uh, move that data in low latency, and again, do it in a way that does not impact those core transactional systems. It needs to be able to be done across all of the different sources and deliver to all the targets that you need. So heterogeneity is really important having a single tool that can span all of those different sources and targets. I talked about the skills scarcity and why automation is so essential. Uh, you want to augment and automate as much of this pipeline as possible. So you want to use advanced techniques like uh, AI and machine learning uh, and data warehouse automation to be able to take some of those mundane tasks in the data pipeline and fully automate that generate the code, push that code down for execution uh, into Synapse uh, and other targets. And finally, you need to be able to do this at scale. Now, everyone, uh, there's lots of different needs for lots of different data. Um, so to be able to handle that low latency delivery at scale, to be able to do the automation and making it analytics ready at scale, and to do the data consumption uh, at scale is critical. So this is really what we're focused on with click data integration to help organizations modernize and automate data integration in all the four key unique requirements. To do this right, the first key tenant is change data capture. Change data capture is a way that you can non-invasively capture changes to those uh, from those core transactional systems, whether it be a relational database, uh, mainframe system, legacy, SAP, uh, SaaS applications. You need to be able to capture those changes and to deliver those changes where and when it's needed. Uh, so change data capture is at the heart uh, of what we do to provide real-time access. The second thing is around delivering to uh, cloud environments uh, and to do it at scale. So this is where the partnerships that we have uh, with Microsoft and others come to play. Uh, the fact that our technology has uh, been used to move more than 500,000 database and mainframes into the cloud uh, and providing that, that complete end-to-end -end, uh, analytics data pipeline. And finally, uh, automation. I talked about augmentation and automation. Uh, this is really an area where Click has played a leadership role uh, in really delivering data warehouse automation for uh, new cloud data warehouses. So let's talk about how this works. On the left-hand side, you've got click data integration, connecting to all the various data sources that you have uh, and applications that you have within the enterprise. Uh, we generate streaming data pipelines. So this is where change data capture and specifically log-based change data capture provides the ability uh, to capture transactions as they're written into the database or the application uh, and to generate those change streams. We move those changes across the wide area network into the cloud, into the warehouse and lakes. Uh, we do that with low latency. And again, one of the benefits of change data capture is the efficiency in which that data gets moved uh, uh, across the network into the cloud. We're just delivering the changes as they occur. So it's very different than traditional style bulk data movement, which happens uh, may happen every night. This happens, uh, you can set it up so it literally occurs as transactions get committed. You can send that across the network uh, and be applied in as little as two seconds. And finally, we've delivered the data. Now we refine and merge that data and make it analytics ready data. And let's talk about kind of the three different platforms in, in which we do that. The first one is uh, streaming environments. So we take a committed transaction, we move that through the pipeline, uh, and then we replicate that uh, into things like Azure Event Hubs uh, or Kafka, or we replicate that directly uh, into databases like Azure DB or Azure, Azure SQL DB or Postgres. Uh, so this is a uh, change data capture for complete replication or uh, posting things and publishing things directly into streaming infrastructures. 
The second is when you've got that transactional data and you've built a model for this and you want to uh, create a data warehouse and data marts for business users. So you take this model driven approach uh, and we, gen we automatically generate the warehouse. Uh, we generate the data vault structure. Uh, we make it uh, easy to generate the data marts for very specific use cases. And that's what data warehouse automation is all about. So we uh, have a, a uh, no code way of generating the SQL that's required for execution uh, in the warehouse, uh, both with uh, Azure Synapse Analytics, also with uh, Databricks. Um, also, the data is continuously updated into these environments. These data pipelines are, are cataloged and made available so business users can easily find that data. We do the same kind of thing with a data lake. So we take uh, that data as it's moving and make sure that we provide conformed data uh, into the data lake, whether it be HD Insight, ADLS, Databricks. Um, this is a way that we can not only deliver the continuously changing data into the data lake, but make sure that we're providing analytics ready data that's available in the catalog. Uh, so again, users can shop for data that they need, uh, they can provision that data out to the analytics tool of choice. It really makes uh, for a managed data lake and it helps organizations get the value uh, from a data lake. Uh, again, one of the challenges of a lake, it's not ingesting data into the lake, but it's finding uh, and keeping that data continuous uh, so you can get the analytics value that you want. So those are kind of the three structures, again, on the consumption side from an analytics perspective, can be Power BI, can be Databricks, uh, can be data science and, and machine learning tools like uh, Azure Machine Learning or Databricks uh, or any uh, analytics tool. So we make it very easy uh, through the catalog to be able to provision data out to your analytics tool of choice full API access uh, into the catalog. So again, the end-to-end -end analytics data pipeline takes the raw data, uh, moves that in real time, makes it analytics ready, puts it into the repository that's required, uh, whether it be an operational data store, like a database replica, uh, into a streaming infrastructure, a data warehouse or data lake, uh, and it makes it ready for instant consumption. So again, that's what we do. Uh, we help you get the data you need for Microsoft's intelligent data platform. Um, we do continuous data ingestion. So this is where the real-time change data capture uh, significantly helps organizations with latency, speed, and efficiency. We deliver that data directly into Azure. We generate uh, the pipelines. Uh, the pipelines can include Spark SQL to deliver that analytics-ready data, again, in a push-down uh, fashion. Um, this is a solution, a single solution that works for both Azure, Azure and Databricks. So we provide the change data capture and transformation to both environments and more. Uh, and again, the catalog becomes the essential uh, version of truth for business users to be able to find, understand uh, all of the pipelines that you're created, the metadata associated with the pipeline. Uh, all of that goes into the self-service catalog. Let me give you an example of a joint customer of Microsoft and Click. Uh, this is one of the largest autom automobile manufacturers in the globe. Uh, they're based in Europe. Um, and it, which is true of, of many of the auto manufacturers, uh, all of their core operational data resides in SAP. One of their, their goals was to uh, become much better in what they call overall equipment efficiency. OEE, it's a supply chain metric, and it really uh, helps them manage uh, to a best in class way of making sure that their manufacturing lines are productive. Um, if you look at their environment, they had 10 production plants uh, in multiple markets around the globe. Uh, they needed to unlock this SAP data. They needed to have this views in real time. Uh, and they had a wide variety of different uh, use cases. In fact, 37 initial use cases uh, were presented uh, as, as part of this solution. Uh, and the way in which it was implemented, uh, it uses click data integration to unlock and move that data uh, and Azure Databricks and Synapse uh, to provide the analytics uh, from that data. 
huge benefit. Uh, this this initiative is already expected to generate a hundred million dollars in savings over the next few years, uh, and that comes because they're able to accelerate the production ramp up. Uh, they're able to provide that real-time views into logistics monitoring on the shop floor. Uh, they're able to uncover uncover uh, patterns, do analysis and analytics across the entire supply chain in real time. Um, so again, this is an example of uh, of some of the benefits. And let's look at how this uh, got rolled out in production and what the roles of the various technologies are. Uh, so if you look at the solution architecture and starting from the left, this is where click data integration unlocked some of their key data sources. Uh, you know, SAP was, was at the heart. There were a wide variety of other systems uh, as well. So again, using log-based change data capture from those on-premise systems to deliver that data uh, into Azure in near real time. Uh, the second piece is direct in integration into Databricks. Uh, making sure that we can take that the, that changes those changes as they happen on those production systems uh, and move it directly into Databricks for both an operational data store as well as a historic data store. We also do that for Azure Synapse uh, as well. Uh, and finally, into Delta Lake. Um, again, various various different technologies being used uh, both to uh, explore this data with Power BI. Uh, being able to move this data into uh, other data management uh, technologies uh, to be able to serve and visualize this data. Um, again, all of this is, is powered by click data integration on the back end, uh, directly into Azure and into a wide variety of different technologies and consumption tools. So click data integration is that raw to ready solution for Microsoft's intelligent data platform. Raw data from those transactional systems and, and applications uh, to analytics ready to insights to action. Um, so we deliver faster time to value with our real-time data ingestion. Uh, we make it analytics ready and we automate wherever possible uh, to create analytics ready structures. Uh, we govern that data and we do it at scale. Um, once that data, those pipelines have been created and you start moving data in a continuous fashion, um, all of this gets cataloged. Uh, it's available for a wide variety of different consumption tools, uh, and you can definitely um, see the value across your, your various investments from warehouses to lakes to operational data stores uh, and others. Um, together with Microsoft, we've got a wide variety of customers, uh, proven value across multiple different industries and customers of all sizes. And we've got two recommendations to help you learn more and get started. Uh, the first is a virtual hands-on lab. So this is a self-service way that you can see the value of change data capture and moving data directly into Azure Synapse Analytics. Um, this is all uh, available uh, immediately. Uh, if you click on the links here, uh, you'll get a link to the direct environment and also some workbooks to help you get started. But again, the, the entire test drive environment is, is set up. Uh, it's very, very simple for you to uh, to see data flowing uh, from a MySQL database directly into Azure Synapse. The second recommendation, uh, really this is, is what we recommend if you're serious about unlocking the data and driving that digital transformation, especially if you have sources like SAP and Mainframe. This is a joint program. It's a two-week proof of value uh, sponsored by Click uh, and Microsoft. Uh, it involves a free deep dive session, bringing experts together from Azure and Click, uh, both the SAP and, and mainframe experts, uh, deliver a half day solution architecture workshop. Again, building out the, the whiteboard and defining a reference architecture that will work for your organization. We provide all of the software uh, and technology expertise that you need to get going. Uh, and we provide everything for the duration of your uh, proof of value. So again, this is a recommended step if you're looking uh, to get value from those systems that are particularly hard to unlock and, and drive value. Um, this is the recommended uh, solution. So I hope this uh, introduction has been helpful. Uh, again, I encourage you to take advantage of, of the special offers from Click and Microsoft uh, and best of luck to you in your digital transformation journey.